And that was Luke O'Shea and Amber Lawrence there with Catch You. I'll tell you what I caught I'll this weekend. Uh, this week just gone is a fantastic album. This is seriously one of the albums that is a great stocking filler because someone is going to love at least one song on this album. It's Gary Allison, Jenny Anderson, and Gary joins us to talk about some of the songs on here. Gary, this must have been a lot of fun to put together. It certainly was. Uh, I, I don't know whether to refer you as the big D or the uh, the right name. D- Darren's fine, <laughs> you can, mate. You can do whatever. You can call him whatever you like. I well, normally I do. The big D. I reckon that sounds all right. <laughs> Okay, you're it's calling the professional big too. Well, that way people can make their own mind up what the D stands for. <laughs> Getting back to your question, <laughs> yeah, look, it was a lot of fun. Uh, all my albums, to me, have been fun because I spend a lot of time on them uh, in selecting the, the the songs. That takes me months and months and months, and then I refuse to sort of record to tracks that are pulled down off computer. I've got my own musicians. And I don't think you can beat that. No. But it's putting together, uh, I often say when you put an album down, you've got to put it down as if you're producing a, a concert. In other words, you wouldn't have Act 1 a soprano and Act 2 a mezzo-soprano, for instance. <laughs> you know, you'd go 1 the mezzo-soprano, 2 the, the performing dog man, and on you go. So, so in that way, yes, uh, spent a lot of time on, had good musicians, good production, and always think what the people like. You know, I'm, I always listen to the people. Well, you know, Darren just mentioned before um, being a stocking filler. We we love to promote. <clears throat> excuse me, promote people actually purchasing the album because not only do they get the album, they've got that to keep, but they get the cover. And in the cover, tells such big stories. And you just mentioned there, every song means something to you. Sure. And having a quick look, like if you pick up something like um, I don't know, I just had a look one before. Where well, I've lost it now. Once upon a time, another Terry Morris song, bringing back your memories of love stories. And, That's right. you know, some people, oh, okay. And then you've got the one about the guitar and about your own wife. Uh, and there's just so many different stories and your interpretations written on your album cover. And it'd be interesting for people to listen to the songs and then have their interpretations. Yeah. Look, that, that makes a lot of sense, Tracy, what you said. Um, I try to... I never sing a song I haven't lived. And the old people told me in the old days that... Uh, the thing that we must get right is is the diction. If your diction's burlized Bur- when I met him in the 50s, told me that the greatest thing I could do was sing a good story with good diction. And a lot of people these days, they've lost the diction. I was only thinking today, uh, you know, it's just, it puzzles me what's happening with country music in Australia at the moment, and probably worldwide. It puzzles me, and it, I think I, the secret came to me today, and I was just listening to something, and do you know what's happened? The percussion now has become come to the f- forward in the song, too forward, and and you've got this massive sort of belting Sound. of drums rather than just a nice gentle brushing. You know, using the brushes, you've got this belting out of of, of drums, and it's drowning the diction. There's no diction. You don't know what they're singing about. Well, Gary, you know what? You and I are going to get on very well because Darren and I do judging on um, the festival circuits. Right, good, and you're good. The, one of the things we say to the band is, please, keep quiet because it's not about you today. You are a backing band. But the one thing, and I'm pretty sure if any of the uh, contestants out there that listen to our show have one of the judging sheets from me, I am the stickler for diction. If we can't hear what you're singing about, how can we feel your song? That's right. We're talking about getting together and and blending and having everything correct. Now, you've obviously sung for quite a while with Jenny Anderson, and on this album here, we're talking about Together With Pleasure, Gary Ellis and Jenny Anderson. That's the album out there. How long have you and Jenny been working together? We've worked together for for some, I suppose, six or seven years, Jen and I, and I really, I knew what sort of a voice she had, you know, I mean, she can sing anything from Bob to Beethoven, Mm. but... I thought this time, gee, poor old Jen, she sits there in the background all the time and, uh, you know, let let her share a, 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 an album with me. And I'm so glad I did. I, I, you know, when you listen to her rendition of White Cliffs of Dover, that is pitch perfect. On a top note, it's, it's almost like a bellbird. It's just beautiful singing. Again, diction perfect and feeling. But Gary, you sound so passionate about your music and it's, and it's lovely to see the passion still in there and we can hear it in the album. So for Thank our you. listeners at home uh, that want to hear more of your passion and hear more of this album, how can they get a hold of it? Look, um, 
all they've got to do is uh, they can send an email to me or they can phone me. Well, I'll tell you what we might do. We might, we, as we normally do, we always podcast our interviews. So Good. we'll podcast that tomorrow and we'll get that up and we will share it onto your website. And all the people that are listening tonight, hop onto Facebook and have a look at there and it'll take you straight through to Gary himself and you'll be able to order it through and private message him yeah, and look, you'll be I, able to work something they, out there. They never let me down. Well, time is on the wing. We're going to have to uh, we're going to have to wrap it up. But as I mentioned starting the the uh, the interview there's plenty of great stuff on here so there's something for everyone they've done some slim dusty music some willie nelson even some mark Knopfler. so have a look at this uh gary ellis and jenny anderson together with pleasure and we're going to go out now with track two the two shades of blue thanks for your time gary we really appreciate it thank you darren it was very very nice of you to invite me on the show and and uh, i must send my greetings to your listeners and the good country fans God bless them all. Thank you. Here he is, Gary Ellis and Jenny Anderson, Two Shades of Blue.